In this video, I will prepare you for the writing part of the Czech A2 Permanent Residence Test. Pay attention because similar exercises can be at your exam. But first of all, I would like to thank all the patrons of Autentická Čeština for your support. I will mention how you can also benefit from being a patron later in the video. There was a recent request from one of you to show how to fill in a form for travel insurance. So let's look at it. In basically every form, you have to fill in first name and last name, which is in Czech, of course, jméno a příjmení. Jméno, příjmení. So let's put Alex Neil, for example. Then permanent address, which is in Czech trvalá adresa or adresa trvalého pobytu. Trvalá adresa or adresa trvalého pobytu. Let's say Bartošova 35, Bartošova 35, Prague, Praha. Then, poštovní směrovací číslo is important, which is the postal code in Czech. Poštovní směrovací číslo. Poštovní směrovací číslo. It's a hard, right? We can write uf, 16300. There will definitely be a destination where you are going which is cílová destinace, cílová destinace, or cílová země, because you are going to travel, cílová země, the country where you are going. Let's put there France, Francie. There can also be a mode of transport, which is dopravní prostředek, mode of transport, Dopravní prostředek. Dopravní prostředek. We can write a plane. Letadlo. Letadlo is a plane, of course. I guess that's probably it. Mm, let's now see another example of writing exercise for the A2 test. But before we look, let me say a few words about why to become a patron of Autentická čeština. There are plenty of materials regarding the A2 exam, which I don't publish here on YouTube. For example, there is a whole sample test with all parts, reading, listening, writing and speaking, which you can try. And I prepared it myself. Also, I keep uploading materials on a regular basis. So if you are interested, go to patreon.com slash autentická čeština. The link is down below in the description. I believe the value highly exceeds the small monthly cost of the excess. Now let's move on to the next exercise for the Czech A2 exam writing part. The assignment is Napište do restaurace Chcete si zamluvit stůl a předobjednat jídlo a pití. Vaše babička slaví narozeniny. Napište minimálně 35 slov. So you have to write to a restaurant, you want to reserve a table and pre-order food and drinks. Your grandma celebrates her birthday and you have to write at least 35 words. But to make it uh, more interesting, here is what the assignments say you have to use. 80 years, 5th of February, 10 people, a chicken and wine. So you need to fill in those pieces of information in the email. You can now stop the video and try to write the email by yourself. Are you ready? 
Good. I can present my version of the email. Dobrý den. Chtěl bych si zamluvit stůl ve vaší restauraci na 5. února pro 10 lidí. Hello, I would like to reserve a table in your restaurant for 5th of February, February for 10 people. Babička slaví jubileum. 80 let. Proto bych si chtěl i předobjednat jídlo a pití. Grandma is celebrating her 80th birthday, so I would like to pre-order food and drinks. K jídlu bychom si přáli kuře. Jaký máte výběr? K pití si dáme víno. We would like chicken for our meal. What is your choice, please? We'll have a wine for drink. Napište mi, prosím. Zda rezervace platí. Děkuji. Please let me know if the reservation is valid. Thank you. S pozdravem. Best regards. Novák. Did you have it similar way? Do you have any doubts about something? Let me know in the comments and I will try to help. Once again, thank you all for supporting Autentická čeština on Patreon. Thanks to you, I am able to make these videos. So, see you in another video. Uvidíme se příště. Ahoj!